the control system there. And it's going to be, uh, you know, a wild minute. Here we go. Avatar Jerry Pratt, reporting for duty. Hello, Commander Tom. Greetings, Jerry. Welcome to Planet X. Uh, now, we have a very difficult mission here in front of you, and it will involve a lot of operator skill to complete. First, make your way to the station hatch. Locate the switch, flip it to on to open the hatch. Pass through the hatch and across the planetary surface to the power station. When you reach the power station, you'll need to locate which of the power canisters are full. Take a full canister and put it in the canister slot. This will transfer power to the asset storage area. Maneuver to the asset storage area and using the drill, open the access hatch. Reach inside and feel for the rocks that have rough edges using your sense of touch. The rough rocks are our energy abundance rocks. Pull out an energy abundance rock and your mission is complete. Now, I know that's a lot of information. How do you copy? Gotcha, Commander Tom. You want me to proceed to the switch, flick the switch, uh, proceed to the power station, find the heavy power canister, uh, insert it, and then proceed to the drill, what I can use to open the hatch, and then look for the high energy rock. Copy. That's correct. Good luck and hurry. The clock is ticking. All right. Thank you. And by the way, you've been promoted. See you later, Major Tom. See you back on Earth. Having a little fun. Well, it is a run that is pretty much for fun, so you might as well make a Major Tom before we're done. All right, so this is an unbelievable time already. Uh, under two minutes uh, out of Mission Command. It's right online with actually uh, where Iobotics was when they started their run. It beats uh, uh, Northeastern. And the switch is done in seamless times at 2.17. And that's, that's exactly what they did yesterday. They actually shaved. So we are on course right now ahead of last night's time. So uh, Saturday Nimro is currently out in front of Friday Nimro. Uh, I know Jerry, who's run a few systems, wants to be the op that puts the final time on it. If you haven't noticed, it's pretty quick on the commute. That was the HOV lane. So they got right through all the heavy traffic and are now at the energy canister in 246, which just absolutely destroys almost all other times. But now we, you know, maybe a little too quick to move. We'll see if Jerry gets things under control to find the heavy-weighted canister to put it in its right spot. Oh, well, I see nice heads-up display there, giving you um, what you got on, on the weight uh, of these heavy. canisters, and so it even kind of held it on the other one for you. So yep. You had, well, here's my comparison. Yep, it's great to see the comparison. It's a really, that dial is a really cool little uh, data feedback, which we love, the combination of data and force feedback. That point is scored. So out of the canister in 320, so it's about 10 seconds ahead of last night's time. It's going to be close to see if we can get ahead. It's going to be right down to, the, you know, as always, the drill and the rock. Uh, Jerry's maneuvering. You can see the fatigue system probably won't be a problem because it's the mimicking of those two arms on that system is weight held high. It's not, it doesn't seem like something he would have to manage with his own. Yeah, he's just directing it yep. pretty much with you know, your, your hand and it, it feels weightless. It's, it's really amazing. Yeah. It's so natural. Have you been in this system? Yeah, I ran it for semifinals. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. so you know it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it said fantastic. It's, it's a weightless system, which is we've talked about human fatigue over the, these mm -hmm. longer runs. Mm -hmm. I mean, the flip side is this run doesn't last over 10 minutes, so fatigue shouldn't set in, but Jerry's... But remember, he did an hour of training, so that's, that's he's true. been there for a while. Yeah, there you go. So uh, the grasp is secure, stable, and dexterous, has the right drill in the right hand, went right-handed, Julia. You just will never know if he would have been faster I, or lefty. I think we could go back and do some statistics on it, and I think I'm still, I'm still winning with my but, left drill. So the one thing we'll have to do is Kenny align, so there's a good overhead shot. But again, the angle of the drill as it approaches the bolt, if it's uh, you know nice and parallel and perpendicular to that bolt, that's the key. It looks like it's spot on. Yeah, Man, on right. the money. Right. You, 450 into the rock challenge. Okay. Now I'm going to 
One of the other things I love about the design is the neck. Just a heads up, 4.50 puts them two minutes ahead of last night's time. So if he can find this, we're at 5.05. It could obliterate yesterday's record of 8.15 on this course. It'll still come down to subjective judging. Mission Command says two. Jerry's going to have to say three for this run today to beat yesterday's. But again, this is just Nimro versus Nimro right now. Jerry's going to say 10, so. <laughs> I have a feeling, uh, I'm not going to, I don't want to say that. You never know. He might find the seat uncomfortable. That's you know, the true. Pink Rock Club, Jerry's going to have some bragging rights if he beat the, uh, the, the previous one, right? 5.30 into the, can, into the Rock mm -hmm. Challenge is two minutes and 10 seconds ahead of last night's time. He just has to identify the textured rock, which we can see is pink, but he cannot. Pull it out, show it to the team. We'll see if he dances. I think he might want to dance, because holy cow. 5.50 is the unofficial time. We're talking about shaving. Yes, yes. He's Jerry knows the dance. <laughs> Jerry can celebrate being in the Pink Rock Club. Absolutely blazing through what was incredible last night at 8.15, unofficially. 550 here on the course with all 10. Now, Jerry has to give it three points, or yesterday's is still the winner. He dropped the rock like he dropped the mic. That was quite a run from Nimro. There is no doubt that that <laughs> was an incredible way to finish the final day of the ANA Avatar X Prize. The bar at which Nimro had set last night, they said, okay, that's fine. Let's crush it. Let's go ahead and set the bar higher. Uh, it's absolutely Jerry back there in, in the system. Just cool as a cucumber. I don't think he wants to get up. I think he's pretty happy just chilling. And uh, the team celebrates down here on the floor as they should. Uh, we hope that they don't get injured in the celebration, but we know that Nimro is safe behind uh, the course walls as the team goes and collects them. An absolutely stunning, big round of applause for that run for Nimro. I mean, I'm, uh, Julie, I'm kind of, I mean, that's, that was kind of cool. I got to be honest, that was pretty, that was pretty cool. I know, I feel like I can breathe.